Hey everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. So when you reach the arcane tower, the first thing you're going to notice is these arcane turrets that the moment you walk up are going to start targeting you, kicking you into the turn-based mode. All you're going to need to do is take your fastest runner and use the obstacles that are laid out so you can avoid the turrets and not get shot. The path I prefer to use is by going off to the right and climbing up the sides so you can keep from getting shot as much as possible. From there, you can just run straight up the stairs where you have the option of either opening this door with a lockpick or you can just jump through this window. Then if your character is fast enough, you can make a beeline for these doors and run straight through. Otherwise, use that pillar first and then go through. Now you can jump down this ledge to the second balcony. When you reach this balcony, go ahead and make sure you go inside and read the book that is directly off to the left as you're going to have use for it later. From there, if you have feather fall, you can use that. Otherwise, you can just jump off this ledge and take the damage and then jump one more time. You can find this hole here that if you have a creature that's small enough can crawl through. Otherwise, you can either lock pick this door or smash it. But before you do, go over here and grab a sister bloom. And you'll have a chest right here you can dig up that has a scroll and a couple of crafting materials in it. Now that you're through these doors, just go straight over here to this machine and activate it. Put your Susan Bloom in and combine, which is going to give you a quick cutscene that's going to turn the power on to this facility. At which point you can go upstairs and start using the elevator to climb your way through the tower. Additionally, now you can bring your other characters into the tower without the concern of them being shot by the turrets. While you're on this floor, make sure you go ahead and stop and read this dusty book. And you'll find this chest of the mundane off to the left that has a bunch of random items that are actually magical. Going to the next floor, you're going to find this torn out paper right here. You're going to go ahead and read. As well as you want to go ahead and read The Roads to Darkness. From there, you can go ahead and go up to the final floor, which has these enchanted armors that only speak to you in the form of the stanzas you've been reading. So you need to respond with, or art thou friend. Using these will prevent the machines from attacking you. If you use the lines, the silence stretches on, I'm all alone, then the machine will give you a nice hug. If you use the line, how can I trust? How can I ever, how will I ever know? Then he'll make his way over this table and place down this ring of the guiding light. And if you use the, there's a light in every living thing, then it initiates combat. So if that's something you want to do, go right ahead. Otherwise, what you want to do is put on that ring of guiding light and walk back over to the elevator, which will then show a button that was previously hidden. When you activate it, it takes you down to the basement, which shows you a room that you couldn't get to otherwise. From here, you have a bunch of different various goodies that you can collect, and you can go back up through this metal door and unlock a room that previously was inaccessible. All right, from there, all that's left is just go around the tower, collecting all the goodies you may have left behind, and you've completed the arcane tower. Okay, guys, on that note, if you enjoyed or found this video helpful, then make sure to hit that like button, maybe subscribe, and keep up to date for when I post more tutorial content. In the meantime, I do have a Discord and Twitter link down below feel that you can join to keep up to date with videos and live stream, which I consistently do here on YouTube, on Kick, and Twitch, all under the same name. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time.